Welcome back to another video, guys. In today's video, we're going to be breaking down the March to October feature premiere. Right quick before we jump into the breakdown, guys, if you have been enjoying the MLB The Show 21 content, then please leave a like on this video, comment down below. Also, subscribe to the channel and turn post notifications on because I will be doing these breakdowns each and every single Tuesday and Thursday when Sony San Diego Studios releases a new feature premiere on, you know, whatever game mode they choose. Subscribe to the channel and turn post notifications on so you never miss out. So straight off the bat, one of the biggest things that we see in this feature premiere is the new user interface, which takes on this kind of dark mode that a lot of, you know, social media channels have implemented. You have dark mode, you have light mode. Uh, you know, I think you can do that on YouTube, Twitter. I I'm not, I don't believe Facebook has a, does Facebook have a dark mode? I don't think Facebook has a dark mode, but I know it's on Twitter, YouTube, and... I don't, I don't think Facebook and Instagram, because of course Instagram's owned by Facebook, but I don't think Facebook or Instagram have a dark mode, but that is the first thing that we're getting with this new user interface is, uh, it, it looks like there's a lot more information kind of thrown at us, and I, I just like, overall, I like the setup. It almost has more of like a depth chart feel as opposed to just the lists that we're used to in MLB and, and a lot of the previous versions of the game we're used to just viewing our roster and viewing like a whole list of of everybody on the roster and here we're getting more of like a depth chart view of everybody and I, I I like it and of course it looks like we're still having the option of like viewing player cards and such you can still uh, access access those menus from from this uh, from this interface so the time has come what do these icons mean Again, as I've mentioned in previous videos, I've more, I am more of a offline franchise guy, so I, I know what some of these icons next to the players' names mean. So uh, to start off, Justin Steele, you see the name right here at the bottom of the starting pitchers list. This red, these red arrows pointing up with the baseball bat, that icon there, that is a, and I hope it's still the same in the show 21 as it has been, that is a top prospect on the Chicago Cubs roster. So Justin Steele, Chase Strumpf, I hope I'm saying that, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And then Aramis Ademan, again, I, I I could be completely butchering these names. But that's what those uh, icons mean is uh, they are a top recognized prospect. I don't know if it's like MLB.com top prospect or what, but they are up and coming prospects. I think it's like top 50 or something or rather top prospects in the Chicago Cubs farm system is what that that symbol means. And then the one that's been causing a lot of confusion in the community is this new blue uh, kind of paper looking with the money symbol in the middle. What exactly does that symbol mean? And I've done a little bit of digging and personal research to find a potential answer. I'm going to show you guys that right now. So with a little bit of personal research, guys, I have come to the conclusion that that little blue icon means that a player's contract will be coming due after that specific season in March to October. Uh, again, taking note of the names in which that icon was by, Javier Baez, unrestricted free agent after the 2021 season. Moving on, we have Anthony Rizzo here. He signed a multi-year contract, but again, in 2022, he's going to be an unrestricted free agent. So there's another one. Chris Bryant, again, unrestricted free agent in 2022. So uh, he also has the icon, Zach Davies, same scenario. Uh, so that that is kind of uh, the gist of what I'm getting. I could be completely wrong in this. This is just my speculation. But I believe that that symbol... Uh, notifies you that that player's contract will be coming due at that that that's their contract year at the end of that season their contract is uh is expired as due quickly another thing that i want to point out on this screen as i make myself bigger uh move your eyes up to the top portion of the screen 
right up in the top middle. I'll go ahead and zoom in, but there's multiple years on this, um, you know, on this menu. You have 2021, 22, 23, 24, etc. cetera. And uh, for March to October, for anybody who doesn't know, March to October is your own. It's basically a condensed version of franchise for anybody who doesn't have all the time in the world to play 162 games and play this game nonstop. March to October allows you to basically play the franchise, but only play specific, only play specific games. You're usually thrown into like bottom of the seventh, bottom of the eighth, bottom of the ninth situations, and you don't play every game. And March to October, you play those situations and your your performance whether or not you're doing good in those situations or bad in those games then determines the outcome of your games that become simulated. So if you play well, you win much of the simulated games. If you're not playing well in the games that they do throw you into, then your simulated games aren't going to go well and you're going to lose most of them. So that's March to October in a nutshell. But before, March to October always used to be just one season and then once you finished march to october you had the opportunity to move that file over to f the franchise mode in the game but for some reason there's been a lot of speculation in the community that march to october might not be just a one year mode it might be a multi-year mode this year which would probably transition a lot of franchise players to play march to october especially if franchise ends up neglected again so this section of the video is for you Xbox players out there or new people coming into MLB The Show 21 or the MLB The Show community and you guys have no idea what March to October is. I provided a like a very brief synopsis or explanation of what the mode is but uh, this is a little bit of a deeper dive here and stay tuned to the end of this video. I'll, I'll play the feature premiere in full at the end of this video to close it out. But uh, this team momentum, focus on this team momentum. So March to October, that game mode is all revolved around this team momentum, basically. And right now, as we sit, we're playing as the Chicago Cubs. And they're, look over here in the top left. We're on a player lock situation. So right now, we are player locked as Jordan Montgomery, a starting pitcher. And we need to perform well in this game against the Reds on June the 5th uh, to get a performance boost to our starting pitching. So you're going to be in a player lock situation where you're probably going to play a full nine inning game and you're supposed to pitch really well with Jordan Montgomery to basically turn the tide of your team momentum. And your team momentum, basically what team momentum is, is it, it, it's the determinant of how your simulated games are going. Right now, your team is cold. That's what this little frost symbol is here. So if you perform well in this game, you're going to try and turn the tide to either decrease, you know, this like frost symbol, or you want what you want that symbol to look like is something like this, where it turns fire. So let's say you pitched really well with Jordan Montgomery in that game, and all of a sudden you got a little bit of fire symbols, and now you're back on track. You want the fire symbols because you want you want red fire team momentum because that's going to determine how your simulated games go that you don't play. The more red fire and good that you do in the games that you do play means that you're going to be winning the majority of your simulated games. Whereas if you're on a cold streak, however, and your team momentum looks like this and you're losing the games that you are playing, that's going to then transpire over to your simulated games and you're gonna lose, you're gonna find that you're losing the majority of the simulated games as well. But don't give your hopes up in March to October because the game mode is designed by the game developers that if you're not doing so well in the games that you're supposed to be taking over and playing, if you, if you get on the, you know, on the cold streak and you're not having good team momentum, the game will, is designed to give you more opportunities to jump into games to try to reverse that cycle. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Uh, until the next one, I will probably be uploading uh, again Thursday when we get our next MLB The Show 21 feature premiere. I don't know what that's going to be over. That's Hopefully that's going to be Thursday's going to be the next day that we get some news on a new game mode. Maybe Franchise, maybe Diamond Dynasty. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. 
But uh, if you guys have any questions about the March to October game mode, then leave them down in the comment section below, and I will try to get back to you on that. But uh, yeah, if you guys have enjoyed the content, please leave a like on this video, comment down below with any questions, subscribe to the channel, turn post notifications on. So now I'm going to play you all the feature premiere, and thank you all for watching. Taper time out. Peace. In MLB The Show 21's March to October. Let's go! Thank you. We're so cool. We are so cool. Experience the thrill of a quicker postseason push without playing 162 games. Thank you again. We're the champions! Let's go! Roll that gameplay. March to October has massive improvements to play a logic system. Constant intensity throughout the MPO postseason, and even more user control over your roster. Enjoy increased user control through new Fast Track episodes, allowing top prospects to help your team with their March to October. We were really focused. We took care of business and made it to the postseason in about 13 hours. What a remarkable young man that Tatis. He would never do anything to embarrass me. We did it, coach. Time to get wet. In hindsight, I should have seen this coming. You know me. <laughs> now I gotta get dry clean. PlayStation.